Cosmic Gamer 907 here. Welcome back to F1 2012 Season Challenge. If you're new to your channel, subscribe. If you're not, well, you know how it's going to go, so let's get into qualifying. So, coming down straight right now into turn one. The break off first corner and not about all slight oversteer coming out, coming into tricky left section, which is kind of Maggots and Begs at Silverstone. It's going well so far. Oh, oh, that's shit. That has gone absolute cockahoo, and that is probably the worst section I've ever done on this game. Screeching away, absolute nightmare. Jesus Christ, I can hardly even get out of the corners. Coming on a tire, it's not really a hairpin, which we just that breaking point by an absolute mile. Shit, Maggie, where was I going? Oh my god, what's it going down the back straight? There was nothing else to do with it, so just plant the throttle. DRS, abusing the all the way down to the hairpin. Break hard, get it right, get it right. Oh, and I've missed the apex again, that's god of Jesus Christ, the back end. And I've lost more time. This is a car. This section is where the AI, they break so early, yeah, I seem to be on the brakes a lot later so maybe that will help me during the race bear in mind where I start oh shit I've gone wide I've gone wide I've had to lift off momentarily that's never good big hard to left going well so far and now coming in into the last corner and they're already across the line shit me where am I going shit lap and I'm at the back of the grid. What a absolute was the worst lap I have ever done in the history of this game, in the history of season challenge. And I've done some pretty shit laps. Um, so my teammate is so far ahead of me, and my rival's even further ahead. So um, to put it in a nutshell, folks, I am well and truly screwed over. Um, am I going to win any points? Um, unlikely, but. F1 2013, you never know. Um, honestly, I'm I'm probably just going to be looking for 10th. If I get to 10th, it's going to be quite lucky if I do. So, cutting out a race day. Teammate 16s, I'm at the back of the grid. Let's just see how it goes. I'll wait for the lights to go out, it's an absolute age. So age is lights to go out, then why I'm turning the car left and not moving. And I'm off now and it's an it's a mediocre start, it's not great. I'm being out dragged by the Russia. I'm done. Oh shit! Late breaking, Jesus Christ! Oh no back there. And there's the two force Indians there who recognize that team from F1 2012 season challenge if not go check out the playlist it's in the description link below just go around the rest of it. I'm up in the 15 Sutil bright check me shit 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 it's not going well it's not going well at all oh my god the line I'm taking shit just a new teammate there Christ and now I'm back down 16 17 back up to 16 and what's going on oh my god I've hit the back of Bottas so, going on so far, I'm up to 16, I think we tied for position already. Going down the entire several cars, oh my god, who's that? I've gone over the curb, and that, that's my rival already. I'm up into 12, and I'm trying, and I was near, and I'm behind my own rival, Jensen Button. I've got Sotil having a go at me. This is how shit my car is, I can't even beat a Ross Indian Mercedes. Breaking hard, going for that left hander. Going into the, oh my god, the back end on this Toro Rosso, I have gone to Mars. Sure, I'm not going to try and go. Oh Jesus Christ! That was the dive bomb of the ages. Got to see this. Look at, oh my god, he broke so early for that corner. That is a move of the ages, that is. It's the ultimate dive bomb. Swooping round now, and... 
just trying to cut Jensen off so he doesn't back at me. He's going to have a look. No. So coming through now to complete lap one. And I'll be honest, after this, nothing happened for about two laps. So you're now cutting to the end of lap three, about to start lap four. Good for seven from Vettel. And I am too risky to That's the closest I've been in the last three laps on him. Breaking hard for turn one, just getting done right. Coming now through the Mags and Beckett section. Get his up Mangas and Beckett with the right left foot. And this is the best after. Ooh, that's not good. You just, well, that's not bad. First sector, what are we on? Ooh, person best of half a second. That That's the closest I've been to Gutierrez all race long. So, back in stepping out. Just got out. Oh my god, I'm so far off the track. As close as I've been, am I going to go for it? Dive bump. Oh, I've hit the back of him. Shit. Get it. Gutierrez, do something. Oh my god, back end. I've gone to Mars again. Please be DRS, please. Stop. With DRS, I have a Salva Ferrari out dragging me. What on earth? This will have to be a dive bomb in all ages. Oh my god. Jesus Christ, I'm off, I'm off. That's not gone well. That's not Hang on, he's around somewhere. There, where's Jensen? Oh my god, Jensen's on the other side. Jesus. Coming round now. Breaking hard for this kind of. Oh my god, I've missed the apex. I've missed the apex. Shit breaking. Just proves you can't break on F1 2013 with a pad. Coming to the last couple of corners now. The end of lap four. I'm going to go into lap five. I am. It's not conceivable. I I could get like eight places. There's like a train of three cars. I don't think I'll catch the guy in. But Grosjean could be a possibility. That's my best lap I've done so far. Breaking hard for turn one. Just about gets it in and. Oh my god, my car started to drift off. Again. Ah, um. I've now got no sound. So, you say what you've just got is my voice. Um, if you don't like it, um, tough shit. This is, this is happening. Um, I don't know what happened. Um, I only found this out editing the game. So, um. This is generally what it's going to be like for the rest of the episode. So, all the way down. Down now to the hairpin. Um, just missed the breaking point. Just got it together. And I'm right behind Grosjean. There's Massa and there's Perez. So, yeah, I'd say 8th is on it. It would have to be the dive bomb of all unholy dive bombs. That you're ever going to see. The bomb. Oh my god. Jesus. That was scary. And it worked. Cause the collision. Okay, got a warning. That's about it. Personal best seven tenths. One point two to Pringle catch Perez. Ooh, thought about it. Oh, I'll cut that corner. Just about gets away with that. <laughs> the rest of them are miles ahead. So, from last on the grid to P eight. What a drive. This has probably been one of my fun drives on. 2013 season challenge. I'm coming out of the last corner. Not only am I going to get points, I'm going to beat my rival. I'm a tiger position. I did a 44 8. What a lap. What a, what a race. So over the moon with that result. It could not have gone any better. Place. I was so far. I was like three seconds ahead of my rival in the end. 44 8. I got like the the fourth fastest time. Well, fifth fastest, sorry. Fifth. That's incredible. And I'm sorry, it was Alonso had passed. Alonso, he needs to hide on pole. So I don't know what happened to him. That was weird. Alonso must have had to... Because he had a dreadful start. With the championship, you can see I'm eighth ahead of Jensen by a couple of points. Um, so, yeah, it's pretty much uh, game on. So, the next race, I believe, will be China.
to see just what see of what it means to everyone to get that points finish and to beat my own rival I'd suffered with rallies but to get that result from from last on the grid I think it helped I was up in P12 so we put now to the menu and it is China and it is raining in time. Now, when I saw this, I thought, Jesus Christ, it's not going well. Now, when it came to actually selecting the whole qualifying situation, like the setup, I just get pouring it down. It doesn't look like it's raining in that shot, but believe me, it is. There's the raindrops, as you can visibly see. Cut to the uh, setup menu, and I dilly and dallied between about two or three different settings. Um, which is your standard, your high level of downforce, or the medium one. Medium gives you more of a chance, um, but for the high levels, it like makes the car proper slow in a straight line. Um, and for s I, I don't know what it's went with like the high level. Just got looking at it and think that's that's got to work. So basically, in the end, we did get. I went with that setup because I thought it'll help me. So. Coming down this straight, we're going into turn one now, and I got, I went in right, then a bit of oversteer, ran wide, and I have uh, fucked up the lap already, got slight on the gravel, and I've lost so much time already, and that is essentially my qualifying lap over. Now, I could have just like, <coughs> quit and gone to garage, but I thought, no, I'll finish the lap, so you can see how much I lost. I lost the seconds, and look, I just went with the wrong level of downforce. I tried changing the brake bias to the front to see if that would work, and it just... See, nothing was working. It was like front brake, it was rear brake, and not, not even that was working. And it looked, my car's stepping out of the back end there already. So I was having oversteer, the car wanted to go like... Left, no, it was in the left hander, and I've lost another second now already. So it clearly looks like I did go with the wrong setup, and the fact that it's raining all weekend means I'm going to have the most difficult weekend even to get any points. So we're going down the back straight now. I've set it to rear to see if this will actually help me gain that white dot. She heads towards the hairpin now. That is the lead car. I'm so far behind; it's ridiculous. Broken hard. I mean, look, that works, but the rest of the lap didn't. Just shows the wrong way on setup. I'm okay in wet conditions. I just skidded through that last corner, and I'm gonna end up in 18th. So not quite as bad as I thought it was gonna be. But my teammate was. I just got um. No, actually, he was uh, one and a half seconds ahead of me, so... <clears throat> yeah, my rival's at the top end. It's going to take a mill for me to actually get into the top ten. Um, but I think if I get a good start, I've got, I've got a chance, but it's going to be a minuscule chance if this works or not. So we're now going to go to race day. For the Chinese Grand Prix. Here we are, 18th on the grid. Let's see what we can do from here. Waiting for the lights to appear. They're about to go out, and the Chinese Grand Prix is go. And got a good initial start, but oh dear lord. I'm dragged by a catering. What is the world coming to? And break over turn one seat. Now here I was very, very sensible because I knew if I went steaming in, it would be a pile up and a half. So I've made up places there. I think my teammate backed out. He's got this AI going so slow through this corner. Back end stepping out there. I'm up to 16. I've hit it point already. I've got Maldonado on my. I'm being out dragged by Maldonado. Go to. Oh my God! The braking is real. Jesus Christ. Where am I up to? 12? <laughs> I'll come on to the time. Yes. And I'm behind you, Terry. And I had so much fun catching this guy up. Um, 
rotation around the right hander, going into the left hander, and how is it looking so far? So far, so good. Slightly cut that corner. Going down the short straight towards the left right, which will lead them to the back straight. Big dive bombs and slight contact with Grosjean, and I'm through and up into 10th place. So already, after not even after one lap, I'm in 10th. And I know it's going to be if I even get any further. It's all going to be about keeping 10th place from Grosjean, because I know Grosjean in that Lotus is going to stream past me. Or is not, which is the case. I've done a big dive from Raikkonen. and looks like I've got slightly up the inside. He's going to come back on the left, you'll see. Detraction on the Lotus is real, and he's done it. So I've done that, knocked over the Ballard. Going down a space straight now. That blue dot you see there on the track, that's where Jason is. He's in sixth place. Will I get him <sighs> where his car is? Probably not. Although I think I've more days of turn one. Which surprised me a bit because I'm, I'm thinking, oh my god, my car's drifting. The car is absolutely drifting here. Brakes have gone to front. This is going to be a dive bomb Raikkonen. Yes, it's another dive bomb. I've hit Raikkonen. Haven't got him, haven't got him, haven't got him. Oh, he's still there. He's, oh. We're now cutting to uh, end of lap three now. Oh, sorry, we are on lap three. And I'm in nine, so I've got ahead of Raikkonen. And I've gone off. I've gone off. Jesus Christ. And there's a Lotus somewhere there. Um, yeah. Oh, my God. The back end on this car. So, I'm now set it to rear. The brake bias to see if that helps at all. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. I've gone in too deep, and I could. Yeah, my car's all over the place. Neutral, and that's Grosjean. So Raikkonen's gone. Maybe he fell behind Perez because right now I'm in tenth place, and I want to get that knife back. So sweep around the right hander, go into the left hander here. Right with Grosjean, I'm off, I'm off circuit, I'm off circuit, this car is dog to drive. And we're going to do dive bomb, yes, it's the dive bomb of the century, boys. Up the inside, back into ninth. But, if you want to see a dive bomb this race, dive bomb on button, that was a dive of the century. So, we're now back up. Into ninth place, and I'm still battling away with Grosjean. Still battling away as we're coming down towards the hairpin, down the back straight. I just managed to hold him off. Oh my god, this car is shit onto braking. See if that racket missing my braking point. Coming out to start the penultimate lap of the race, and <laughs> oh my god, look how slow I am. I'm five seconds off Falkenberg. I've now got Perez behind me. This is ridiculous. I mean, where's Perez? Perez is somewhere. He's there. I've gone in too deep again. That's compromised my line. Coming around the right end now, and it's all about just keeping this ninth place. Personal best first sector by over a second. Jesus Christ, my car's skidding all over the show. I'm not going to lie, when I got into ninth place, I thought, I'm going to lose it, but if I can keep this ninth place, it'll be two points finishes from last place. Well, pretty much. And considering the way I started my season, i take that in the wet. Wrong, wrong wet setup, and I would take ninth place. So, personal best by three seconds. So, um, pretty good. I've taken two tenths of a second out of Hulkenberg. Wow. That just show, shows you how shit this car is. So, I'm going down the back straight for the penultimate time. I'm going to do the final lap. Which is 
the last two laps has been essentially all about holding off the likes of Perez, Rajon, Raikkonen. Because I've got such a car train behind me, you can see how many cars are behind me. Forty-five four personal best lap for me, and we're now about to start the final lap of the Grand Prix. Round turn one, can I get turn one right? And it looks like I finally mastered turn one. Oh my god, my car's skidding, Jesus Christ, where am I going? I'm off to flaming Narnia. Coming down now towards the end of the first sector. So there's just sitting neutral for the brakes. And my car skidded through that corner there. I took another bad of Hulkenberg. That made me feel slightly better, the fact that I changed my brake bias and I still took another 10th out of Hulkenberg. But it still doesn't disguise the fact that absolute... So... Pretty much done and dusted. Um, I, t I took a... Oh my, my car's got a steer like you wouldn't believe. It's like the rain's got worse and... I've taken more time out of Hulkenberg, so I've taken about three temps out of him over the last lap and a half. So, if there had been this much intensity of rain at the start, I wouldn't be really caught Hulkenberg, which, is, which slightly annoys me. God, turn in, get it absolutely bang on. Slight over still on the way out through to get another. Pretty much last to points finish. 44-2. I've knocked over a Ballard. And I'm going to come through. For ninth place. Great beat Jensen. But. I beat my target time. And I beat my teammate. Which. Absolutely. It's essential. I'm so pleased with that result. Ninth. And. About. 4.4 seconds off Hulkenberg, so I was catching him. I think it's because the rain intensity got worse, and I think it's more the rain intensity. It got worse, so Mars came to the fore. So I must have taken a chunk out of him on that last lap. Probably about a whole second out of Hulkenberg. So, championship wise, four points in it between us, so it's going to be a showdown. In the next race. So, hope you enjoyed it. Sorry about the sound issue. Uh, I've been Cosplay Gaming 7. Thanks very much for watching, and goodbye.